Hi everyone, I'm Cinder A9. Welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. Here we go. Let's continue on with this battle. As we're now Ah! <laughs> yes, there are mines. As you can see, there's another one right there. Thought I missed that one. So be it. There's a mine right there. A mine there. Once you get to this side of this side over here, you use this bridge to climb up this broken bridge. Please keep up ah! Please tell me you counted. Good. We're back, everybody. Sorry to worry you. Wilkes. Oh, good. Are you hurt at all? I stepped on a mine, but I'm such a boss that I'm okay. No, we're fine. What's your status here? See, Wilkes said he's fine. We were unable to break through the enemy line without you to lead the Edelweiss. Now that you're back, we'll launch a tank offensive on your command. Alright, good. Squad 7, commence the attack! Yeah! And with Welkin back, the Edelweiss is fully operational. Using it, you can really damage these light tanks, of course. They'll pose almost no threat. You also have access to your wireless, uh, your wireless headset. So, orders can be issued. Such as things like all units defend, raising all allies' defense. Or damage boost, raise one ally's anti-tank attack power. Useful. I'll probably show these off just because I want to. Now, Alicia's still over here. It's not required for her to get back, actually. Uh, you still have the shock troopers over here, and you still have the mortar cannon. The game sounds a bit loud. Uh, hopefully that's just me. Alright. Let's get started then, shall we? You have a lot of enemies here, including the, uh, including the Lancers. Light tanks will still take three shots to kill. But it's just good to have the Edelweiss because they're not going to do much else. We have the Shock Troopers that I'd kind of like to hit, honestly. Yeah, keep firing, tank. Okay, how many Shock Troopers do we have? We have one... Your scout. I see all the lancers back there, which I know this won't do much, but Fire! all you scatter. Good. Got the scout too. Excellent. All right. Let's start dealing with tanks. Oh, there's still that shock trooper over there. Um. Next turn, I'll be able to show it off better. You still have all of your HP and everything. How do I want to do this? Because of this, this shock trooper here. Been waiting here. Let's see. Four shots to kill, huh? In the current action. Now. You saw how much damage it did. It did uh, 550. Let's try out our damage boost command because we haven't yet. And we'll cast our Largo. This is an order. Hurting them means us surviving. Be merciless. I love that. Be merciless. Let 
And you saw a more damage. It was what about a hundred more damage. So while I like you know the the sound, you know the stuff that that Wilkin says, uh, you'll get more out of it if you hit it from behind. Wow, the smoke caused some some lag there, but uh, there you go. There's that command. I'll probably cost myself a grade here. I really don't care. I like showing things off. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh no! Requesting reinforcements. Let's go. Attack down. So annoying. Oh, headshot! Good job, Nina. Damage minimal. <laughs> Damage is minimal. And the shock troopers aren't gonna get any closer. Don't worry about that. They're they're now. <laughs> Before, they might keep marching. I honestly don't know. They probably don't want to run into the intercepting fire. But also, having the Edelweiss being able to fire, too, isn't something they want to deal with. Bye! Now, all the Lancers are still a threat for the Edelweiss. So, don't get too cocky. Keep the Edelweiss still in the base, because it's going to be the main target, which is why I didn't move it too much forward. That way it gets some free HP. Underminer fire. No sweat. Now you better move back, tank. <laughs> and then the mortar shell, which is still severely annoying. <laughs> uh, I was wondering when you were finally going to fire there. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's Largo? Just watch this. Now's our Goodbye. That's one. Ink. Ah, in the smoke. Ugh. For some reason, it's really, really lagging the computer. All right, all that's left is uh, this shock trooper. And then a whole bunch of Lancers, so let's get moving. Let's do this thing. Oh, you hit with the attack it's down. How annoying. Well, since you got strong-willed, uh, Rosie, let's just get moving. Haha, <laughs> undodgeable shot. You lose. I love seeing undodgeable shot. It means they're not gonna duck. Period. We'll just run over here. And this is ours. So close! <laughs> Blasted attack down. I hate it so much. All right. 
all the rest of these uh, Lancers to take care of. And then this, uh, this light tank. But the light tank I'm really not, not that worried about. So we'll keep the Edelweiss there. Oh no, we can move it up. But first... Stand up. Let's start taking out Lancers. There we go, good. As you see, attack down is very annoying. Two more. Here we go. Let's go ahead and move the Edelweiss up. Now. One more shot from the Edelweiss and you're done. As you see, once you have the tank, you can use... Oh, yeah, reinforcement request canceled. You can use your, uh... Damage minimal. You can use the Edelweiss to kind of push forward, especially considering the mortar. <laughs> That'll help get rid of all the units except the, uh... The Lancers. Because Lancers have that anti-blast armor. And don't worry too much about the Edelweiss, because I'm going to repair it. And the laces are going to take damage every move. A little bit of damage, but they'll still they'll take damage. As you can see, the Edelweiss is, is ready to shoot. Here's the mortar again. Hooray! It's just a pain to get rid of the mortar. I honestly just kind of deal with it. Alright, let's repair the Edelweiss. There we go. We'll give Largo some ammo. This is where it's going to fire, but don't worry, I'm going to move Dallas again, because she's going to repair the Edelweiss again. Here we go. Sorry, Nina. Now. Goodbye. Good work. Keep it up. Now, the only way to get through the wall is with the Edelweiss. Okay, I should be able to pull this off. What's the other side looking like? We'll move the Edelweiss up here. I should have four CP left, right? Good. I'll crush em. One goes to Nina. You're done. Who kills this Lancer? We'll move up. And it's her action. Move two goes to Rosie. I'm on. Who kills this Lancer off? She was so close to killing last time. Move her here. Here I 
Goodbye. Makes her think of the track back home. You may be wondering what that means. Well, if you look at the uh, characters, you'll find out. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I really like it. Alright, and then for the last CP, Lawyer's gonna get hit by the mortar, but that's fine, he can take it. Again, anti-blast armor. And for the last last movement, the last CP, we repel the re, we repair the Edelweiss. Thank you. Done. In current action, yes. Reload. No, not yet. Yeah, see, it's a B. You can really, really move fast on this. And boom. Yeah, see, now it's a C. Here we go. You just mow on through. And here you have a shark trooper. You also have some anti-tank mines, but meh. Goodbye. So you see, they have everything right there. Once you get through that, it's it's nothing. The rest is nothing. Right away. So again, I missed around a little bit. It probably cost me a B rank. Meh. Again, if I need EXP or cash, I'll run five or six skirmishes. We took their base. Uh, this is a pretty e this is a pretty easy mission, to be completely honest. Yeah, see, I missed out on like six around you know 5,500 EXP, around 10,000 cash. It's fine. New episode has been added, and weapon retab has been added. Uh, remember we killed the uh, special sniper. So there you go. It's really not a hard, hard map. Also, mess around with Welkin and Alicia at the beginning. It's okay. If if you know what you're doing, you'll get through there pretty fast. And even if you don't know what you're doing, you can still get out of there. Like I said, you know, I wasted probably a good turn in CP with all of it. I wanted to show off anti-armor boost and stuff like that. You'll still get out of there with the good ranking. Alright, moving on. Uh, chapter 8, The Woodland Snare. The last, uh, last episode here. Bonds. Lieutenant Gunther reporting for duty. We really missed you, boss. Lieutenant, that is. Isara, aren't you going to welcome your brother back home? <laughs> you was worried about him, weren't you? Welcome back, Wilkes. I'm glad you're all right. Thanks. So am I. Largo and Rosie, thank you for looking for my brother. I'm in your debt. <laughs> Having some dark hair thank me. Well, it's weird. Good to see him in one piece, though. You gotta admit that, right? Well, it was an adventure, all right. Pretty scary, too. But I feel like I got to know you. And when you said that, 
Squad 7 was like your second family, it made me feel... I felt really happy. So... Thanks for that, Loken. Chapter 9, A Midsummer Incident. When you beat that, you get a new skirmish battle. Uh, we still have the uh, Cloud and Wildwood we haven't done. You can do the Barius Desert. It'll work just like the desert. Uh, so be careful of long-range units, especially snipers, and bring your own snipers to take advantage of the long sight lines. So there you go. A, a really touching scene there at the end. It's good to have uh, to have them back. And you can see that the squad's really bonding now. Which is good. It's good to see that that character development. All right, let's uh, let's hit the training field. I'm gonna kind of skip out on the war cemetery this time. We're gonna head here. We'll level up the snipers and the shock troopers. Good. So the sniper's got a new potential. And... Pour the rest in the shock troopers. I really want to level up the shock troopers. Okay. Let's visit the art. Well, what's up, Leon? I'll be right back. <laughs> First, we're gonna go to uh, Castlefront Street for the writing on the wall. South Central Forces team up. A uh, GOS to be canceled. Glory of Speed, Europa's top motor race, has been called off for the year. This marks the first such cancellation in the event's 24-year history. Because, of course, government and all the fight. All the fight's going on. Nothing else, alright. No, the war going on. Fight. The war going on. Alright, back to the R&D facility, which is where my mind is preoccupied. <laughs> alright, let's take a look. All right, uh, this one isn't open. Yep. Sorry, bro. Just not there yet. But you do have two options at your disposal. You have added effect. This will make the gun have less range and do less damage and have less shots. It only has 15 shots instead of the 20. However, it has that minus. It has that uh, attack lowered effect on anything it hits. You know that annoying one that the enemy had. <laughs> Where each shot does one damage, unless it's a uh, unless it's a headshot. So that is there. Give it a try if you want to. Um, I've not really used it that much, so I can't comment overly about it. Uh, to me, I take the uh, I take the firepower boost, just because I like my machine gunner, uh, like my shock troopers hitting as hard as possible. So the mag's M10. It's done. This one's perfect, bro. Check it out. Now that's a machine gun, right? <laughs> I love the way the uh, the upgraded machine gun looks. The mag's 10. The mag's uh, M10. I love the way it looks. It really looks like a machine gun. 
Uh, kind of has a uh, MP5 look to it. I really like it. I'm not going to say that the uh, Match X M1 is a bad gun because I don't know that well. It's only 15 shots. The, the attack down could be really useful because you've seen how well it works on our shock troopers when they get hit by it. So, uh, just something to keep in mind. I, I go with the uh, M10. Alright, this isn't open yet, but uh, we can get the Thermer M01. Yes, Thermer, like, like uh, you know, the one that helped build the Edelweiss, uh, Isara's, uh, Isara's father. Yeah. It gives an additional 100 damage versus armor. Could use that last map. <laughs> Here you go. As you see, the uh, warhead is different. If you look, if you look at the, uh, like the actual missile part, pretty cool. Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for: the sniper rifle upgrades. This gets interesting because you have some very, you have two different really thoughts for the sniper rifle. Uh, the if the added effect is aim down. The enemies don't hit as much, but the range goes down. I honestly don't like the Brondel, uh, the Bro uh, the uh, Brondel variant of sniper rifle. The added effect, uh, it does less damage and the range goes down. That's not what I want for my sniper rifle. And the aim down effect, uh, I, I didn't feel it that much. I've used the sniper rifle. Uh, I didn't have that good. I didn't have that good of luck with it. Maybe, uh, maybe you will. There's the firepower boost. Oh, this is, so this is, I forgot, sorry. This is the Brondel M101X. The Brondel M1 is a firepower boost, and a hefty one at that. It goes from, uh, 85 versus personnel to 100. The range goes down a little bit. Goes back, uh, goes back to the old versions of the sniper rifles at 1,000. That's still a lot of range, and that 100 versus personnel, you shoot something in the head, it's gonna fall. That's a lot of power. I, however, am going with the GSR-10. While it doesn't have the firepower of the Brondel M1, it does have that aim B, and you'll see the effect. <laughs> it also has an additional 100 range. And it does a little more damage than the GSR-4. Pick your poison. Do you want more firepower? Or do you want a, a better shot? It all depends on your play style. Me, I go accuracy boost. All set for you, bro. It's done. I, uh, plus, I really like the way this sniper rifle looks. So... There you go. Choose. Uh, it's really between these two, in my opinion. To me, I like the GSR-10 because I like to hit what I'm, you know, what I'm aiming at, and this assures it more often. But the firepower is nice because if you land that shot, you get some serious damage out of it. Uh, no new hand grenade. No new uniform. Oh, uh, no new boss suit. Okay. Nothing new here for the Edelweiss. That's a shame. Uh, drive System 4 unlocked. You can give your treads even more defense. There's that. Reinforced coil. Keep doing that because I think it's going to go back there. Tax support. Extended capacity 2. Rear magazine. If you put both on, you'll have 3 ammo. <laughs> But as you can see, it takes up uh, a huge chunk. So you have to you have to think about it. So if you're not going to use uh, use both, you're better off just using the extra magazine because this doesn't give plus two; it just gives an additional plus one. Uh. 
I'm really gonna stick with what I've got. I don't... You really don't need three mortar shots. If you need three mortar shots... <laughs> you might want to try using some of your other units. Instead of just the Edelweiss. Although I really like using the Edelweiss, don't get me wrong. Uh... And the mortar is super handy. Hey, it's up to you. You put what you want on. If you're using the mortar a ton, throw it on. <laughs> There's that. That's the good thing about about those. You can tune the Edelweiss to how you want it. Personal weaponry tabs have been upgraded. All right. That's gonna do it for this episode. If the sounds off. I highly apologize. It just so it sounds loud to me. But again, that could just be that could just be me today. You know, kind of stuffed up a little. So that could that could just be me. Uh next time, we're going to begin chapter 9, a midsummer incident. Till then, I'm Sundry 9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone.